Let's go. It's time. We're back. That surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. <laughs> I guess it's no surprise. But I should have made my title something catchy. I'm going to change my title after this. This is just the thing I threw out there. This is the Dale Cup Super Speedway. These are the legacy trucks too, I think. The old ass Silverado. From when even Moses was a kid. It's over. <laughs> Can lock him up. Anyway. February 12, 2023. The Podium 500. Do not forget to sign up. It is one of iRacing's biggest events of the year. But it's not iRacing's. All right. Well, so far, third, fourth, fourth. Yeah. You're the only one with a spotter. It's a pretty good sized field. I'm seeing about 20-ish cars. How many? Let me look. 17? No, there's more than that. <clears throat> I'm going to have my overlay tell me how many cars are in it because, you know, you can't cheat and look at the car numbers. <laughs> yeah. No, because the car numbers and officials are 1, 2, 3, 4, and they stop at 38 if there's 38 cars. This is... 46, 411, 429, 510, 00, 0, 0, 52. Like, yeah, I can't look. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, man, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit here. I'm going to keep it on, though. I want to listen to it. It's going to be having music on night. Because it's going to be mostly eye racing tonight, you know, for the stream. After your little league dealio, I'll probably connect with um, David Stryker. He's going to run some C Open. He will need my help because I've had my hands on a setup. And he doesn't know how to handle it when it's hot track, cold track. Doesn't. I mean, I gave him some written instructions, but nobody's ever clear on what to do, even after I give it to him in writing. It's scary because, you know, you make the wrong choice. The car does the opposite of what you want it to do. And then you have to cope with that. It won't kill it. Hey, Pound Racer. This is a league race. It's going to be 40 laps at Talladega with the 2003 Chevrolet Silverado. What's he going to? Uh, is he going to race it or is he just going to have a 2014 Mustang? Damn, you're gonna have three race cars. Mm hmm. Are they gonna race your cars? Next time, bye. All right, man, line up on the inside row. Pit road is closed. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck, guys. May the best and fairest win. Let's see if this overlay is working. Yeah, but I don't know if I like that positioning. Can I nudge it? How about now? Just a little bit more. There, that meets the bottom. Yep, and if you pop the stream up, you'll see the um, yeah the dash overlay that I made. Water level and oil level are pretty cool to have because if you get damage, I can tell if you're leaking fluid. Yeah. 
So. Next lap there, Mr. Steven. Uh, beating Zach attack again, huh? Don't you hate this 8 kilohertz voice encoding that they do? It sounds so terrible. High racing's just ridiculous. Sounds awful. So far, not everybody's on the grid. 7.5 gallons of fuel. One fast repair. I thought there was none. is exactly why they should continue with the old practice. I don't like it. I liked it better without that fast repair. What do you think of it? Without cautions, you're not going to get back out there. It's pointless. Yeah. Is, is this a recruitment race? Because I, I attended a, a recruitment race earlier this week. You might have been there for it. You want to talk about a shit show. They had it open to everybody, okay? And it was at a plate track. It was at Bumpy Daytona, so nobody had to buy a track even. There were 100, 200, 300 I rating people in this thing, dude. It was funny. It was literally funny. It's worth watching my VOD just to see... Honestly, I had no idea there were people that bad at iRacing. I'd never seen anything like it. Did they ever talk back? I've done it before. Yeah, I've had multiples. They freak out because they don't know. Who, who are you? How are you? T are... are well, sometimes they don't know what's going on and they think it's other drivers on the track and everything else. <laughs> yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go on a, a, a computer first on your own and then I'm going to take over once you're going. Oh, well, you can hear the green flag yourself. Approaching the restart zone. Green flag, green go, go, go. You got a good starting position, man. Just hang out here on the bottom and... The earlier race at this... Yeah. You need to practice it then. When I build web, or when I build websites, I mean, I'm thinking because I am working on a website right now, but when I build um, the setups, I'm out on the track doing test laps. I don't, I go down pit road and practice pit stops a lot just because I'm out there anyways, you know, and it helps me see how the car behaves on pit road. Anyway, uh, fourth back on the bottom, you're next to the third back up top. Outside, you can see him running. Stay low. There's a guy talking about his 24-hour race. I thought you, I thought you raced with him. Not this time. This is Reaper. Welcome back to you and Mizzy. Yeah. 
I put you on stream, by the way, so people can hear you. Hello, world. <clears throat> At least my world. You'd be surprised, Mrs. Reaper. They, um, this car, this is the legacy pickup, and there's, there is a fast repair where they change their mind on that. There usually isn't, but there are no cautions. So if you wreck, you're done. And with that hanging over their heads, you can't believe it. The race I did earlier this week, you might remember them. They, they ran pretty much, I mean, they ran long green at rate at first. I think they started wreck festing towards the end a little bit, or did they go all the green all the way? I can't remember, but it was a good race. And you can already see that these people are on their best behavior, even right now. So, Plus, it's a league. And then, like, the other league race that I spotted for earlier this week, this league isn't... This is not a recruitment race, so it doesn't have any public people in it. These are all people that race together all the time, so... Yeah, they've all been vetted. All right, that 26 car, second line up top. Check up. Good. I see a little squiggle. Is it hard to hold on to? Or is it doing all right? Oh, so you can really whip it if you're not careful. Yeah, be, be cool with it. I agree. Take her easy. Some people are smoother than me right now. Some people are definitely not as smooth. We just give each other room over the day. Right now, it's just a cool high highway. out my music for a minute I'll bring it back later right now there's enough to listen to my eyes are glued on the later right now yeah if I see him squiggle a little bit I know it's going to check up so I slightly get off the throttle early to get a little buffer so the person behind me doesn't freak out do you want tires I don't think people take tires with this car do they Sometimes when they allow you a full tank of gas, 18.7 gallons, you'll take so much time to put the fuel in. A lot of people will take two, just to have at least two tires fresh. And if it's a... Oh, yes, it does, because it gets you off pit road a lot faster. It'll save you many, many, many seconds. Yes. You are now the fifth car back. Yeah, most people haven't. It's something you learn from Dylan Basin. with this a little bit. I like the idea of being about the size you can still read all those messages. We'll try it like this for a little while. It might be too small. Get all the overlays up. 
Let me see something here. What's the sim time? 7.29? It's getting dark. Oh no, that's in the morning. Sun's coming up. But it's overcast. So, it's really hilarious to think about a race at this hour. They would never race at 8 in the morning, you know? Stands full of people. You gotta be out of your mind. They want to race at night and go party afterwards out in the infield. You got a little bit loose behind you on the right. be about time. I'll let you know if they bumble. Still quite a few laps left though. Yeah. Are you okay Mrs. Reaper? Why is your head hurt? Pregnancy headache? Are you not sleeping good? You definitely need to get sleep. We got a baby coming. Focus, Take getting that baby, getting you sleep and baby sleep. Big time important. You're number five in line along the bottom. You're next to number three up top. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Everybody's like, who's that guy? Because it's not a name they would recognize, you know? And it's hard to see those little plus signs. Most people don't know to look there, you know, to see if you got a spot or anyway, you're next to number two in line. The top start to run. You're fifth in line along the bottom. You got five more laps of fuel left before you have to pit. So that'd be 17 coming to 18. I checked, that's lap 16 coming to 17. Because I have to look at your last completed lap, which is 11, and then add the five to that. So yeah. Are there any car numbers you want me to relay that to? No, I think I'm good. There goes that group. Go left, go left. Middle there. One guy absolutely mm -hmm. blew it. Sorry, Chase, there's not enough Three, two, one. Right here. I turn off the spotter when you're on pit road so you hear it. Cool. Thank you. One coming. We're racing. Clear. Alright, time to leave this pack. Yes, indeed, until they do something stupid and try to pass you on the right when they build up that, you know, mini run. I don't think that... they would. We've worked together quite well. There's nobody coming, man. That might have been the race winning move right there on pit road. stick out slightly so they can get on my left side or keep it more stable. Fitting. Fitting in. Give him a little bit of room just in case. Here comes that next pack.
flying now. Yeah, they're tucked in. Number three is clear. All four are clear. There's another pack there. You do what you need to do, Wayne, David. I will not pass. Let's just roll, man. There will be no interference on pit road. We're looking good coming around. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for holding up for me. You are the new leader. Nice. Like an one. <laughs> Lead one my ass. Let's go win this. We're gonna leave the rest of them. Of course, he's. Um, yeah, it's they're all gonna be together before you know it, dude. Easily, that's how this works. <laughs> yep. Once in a. Ah, there we go. They're all working together. Mm-hmm. That's good for you though, because then you'll be in the right spot to go with them on the next pit stop. I think the 510 went up for air. Somebody up there stepped out right when friggin' lap cars are coming. That was really dumb of him. This yellow car really... Now you got just the middle, one in the middle. Let him go by. Checkup coming. Still outside. Stay low. Um, no, it gets your, it gets you wound up pretty good. It, th this eats fuel, actually. But you're about where I expect you to be, 0.466 gallons a lap. Got about 11 laps from here. These guys are probably going to go in sooner than that. They've been going in 14 laps into the stint. Did you notice that? It just divides the fuel stops a little more evenly. We're gonna catch fast and then catch fast. Never know. Oh, that mic goes wrong. I said we're going to catch Seth, and we're going to catch Sale. Yeah, I think we're about to have that. We're pro. You copy that, Seth? I'm not just surprised we got out of pit road first. Yeah, you hit pit road really well, dude. But people were skidding in three wide. They did not go in there in good order. You did. And you almost got demolished. The guy behind you went out of pit road over the cone into the grass to keep from demolishing you. You don't, I don't know if you noticed that or not. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, fifth in line again. Yep, let's wait and see when they make their move.
Yeah, they cruise. I don't know why that did that. I just unchecked your fast repair in case you pit. To, uh, yeah. So. Are we going around or are we and no tires. checking that? Yeah, let's go around. 20 and no tires, correct. You know they're not, they're not taking them. Your tires at the last pit stop were 100 basically all the way around. Hot, the right front's super hot, but that's, that doesn't matter. Oh, the tires still checked? Let me go check them. Yeah, I always double check all this stuff when you go down pit road. I'll get it now, though. Yeah. So, it's fuel and tear off only. No fast repair, no tires. I think they're going to do it in four more laps. Let's take a look. You actually need 8.1 gal uh, uh, gallons to finish. So they do have to, they're probably going to split these next two stops somehow, you know, because you're just not going to make it on one stop at all, at all. No chance. So. What's up, Diacy Gaming? Hello, hello. And welcome back. I also probably got out earlier because I didn't have to pull up as much because I was in the front the whole time. Like yeah. That. Yep, yep. Uh, 40 laps minus 14 lap 26 I predict the going in on 26 coming to 27th. I'll check it out I see yeah 26 coming to 22nd 27 is when they're probably that's how, I think that's how they're going to divide it up that's the short fuel lap or no yeah that's that's where a fill up will get you to the end Right? So 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. They could actually go on on 25. Just be, be ready to dive in. That lead pack is uh, leaving us because we're back here, right? It could be this lap, so be careful. I think fuel-wise, they need to go one more lap. I hope they go at least one more. Just for safety's sake. Well, we gotta kind of go when they go, you know. I'm counting 10. All right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There is a lap car in there. Mm hmm. Be extra on your guard. It has to be this one or the next one, okay, Brandon? Because you run out of gas. You know what I'm saying? Leaders, if you get close, go. You literally only have uh, two laps of fuel left. Yeah. 
with that. You could technically make two more, but the leader would have trouble. That's what I'm seeing. So. Uh, whatever. I'll just follow you. I'm, I got three laps left. You tell me what you want to do. Yeah, I got the same. They're all getting nervous about their little cup. Yeah, Some people have three laps because they pit after us, right? But we have to go this time. Yeah. Not, I mean, if they risk it, if you get a caution, if they go one more and then get a caution, you could run out. No caution. Oh, that's right. I keep, that's half a racing. I hate that. Come on, Dad, come on. Look at this discombobulated shit. Kidding. We're going to make it. Thank you for the space, Kevin. Trying to scare you on fuel. You got 1.4 laps left. 1.3 laps. 1.1 laps on my end. Yeah. My calculator just went down to 1.2. Of course, it's counting down fast now, but you literally have to pit this time, whether they go or not. I'd be surprised if they don't. I don't know how they could make it. Right here is where they'll run out. Right back here on the back stretch. Yeah, I'll check it out, AC. It's funny stuff. Good fuel tear off. No fast repair. Confirming no tires. Stay on the left. You got a car right. Need one left. This line, this line. Okay, you can turn in. Putting you on the computer spotter now, so you hear your count. Have a good pit stop. Three, two, one. Right here. The right sides are 99.98. Starting to get where we could use a tank or a set of tires, but no cautions. This is it. Go around. Go around. Got one outside. Got one outside. You're too wide there. We're racing right now. Go there, hold your line. You're clear high, clear high. Taking over for the computer. Here's the fourth car back this time, fourth car. I'm scoring you in P4. Literally everybody pit that time. Almost contact behind you there. Outside line's coming to us. They're back by one half. That's a 26 car leading it. There now, at your bumper. Got 6.8 on board. You need 5.5 .5 to finish. Or less, now that you're, you know, up to speed. You see the outside there? It's number two in line. There'll be a gap behind him, but you're still occupied. Stay low. Then there's a fight where... Stay low. There's a third one on your bumper. From behind up to your door now pace he's kind of starting to run again you're next to number three in line up top you're number four on the bottom four on the bottom still outside that's tom pritchard your 56 car little check up there Anyways, that was 10 to go the last time by. This time, 9.
Oh, Dustin Franklin manually disconnected. He must have wrecked. Hey, I'm down here, dear. You are number five on the bottom. That's number three fading up top. You see number two coming up to you. It's the Chiquita Banana Truck. He's second in line up top. He's got no help behind. You're up to his door. Now you're fourth in line in the bottom. The sixth went up to lead the middle. A little early for that, but a smart play overall. Oh, yeah. They're out of sorts. No, bad move. Come back up. You're clear there. I have no... No. Don't, don't. Yeah, uh -uh. Bad move. No, I knew he was going to do that. I'm just giving a little... Not tap 91. He's done that before. The 26, Hunter Reynolds. Did you pee your pants a little bit? He did that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, first and second hit doors. First and second hit doors, and then P4 almost turned up P2. Yeah, you're outside still full, man. Stay down here. You're fourth in line down below. Next to fourth in line up top. We're all under a blanket. Three wide's appropriate, especially at this track. Destroyed cars going down pit road. He said your buffer wasn't that big. <laughs> five to go, five more. It's coming right down to it, man. These race really, really well at this track. Compared to the C trucks or Xfinity series, I think the only thing that races better than this would be. Well, they don't even yeah, race better. Yeah. It's hilarious. I think that's helping the outside because he's not poking out, so the other guys on the outside can pinch down. Pit exit traffic up here. You see him. Yep. You're next to number two up top. You're number four on the bottom. Up to his door. Two gallons to the good right now. A third line is coming. It's a Chiquita banana truck. You're on the bottom of three. Bottom of three. Middle's fading. A third lane is also fading. You're next to number two up top. You see what you got. Their pace. 
pace car, or actually lap cars, going into turn three up ahead here. They're in the middle. Lap cars are three wide, just take a lane, we'll pass you. Yeah, uh, lap cars either in the third lane or below the yellow, please. I've got three wide, I've got below the yellow, I've got below the top. Yeah, I go now. They're low. One in the apron, one not. Stay off the track, guys. Please pick a lane. We're coming. Got to do a waste to off the track. I'm off the track. Wow, that mother. What? Just dig, dig, dig. Who's the asshole? Mike Burton. Holy cow. He did sound like an older guy. Like his, half his marbles are spilled out. He had a radio. He heard me. Oh my god. Better awareness, man. You just killed the field and feel ago. Yeah, that's why I got down and it's give you a bloody time. I'm not going to mess up the race, y'all. Keep your left car. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we don't even, we don't care if uh, we expect people to stay in the third lane because of we, we go four wide in this league. But, you know, as long as she picks the lane soon, not the last second. They got the way. This is our last trip around. Stay alive. Unless you lay back a little bit and try to build a run. That's enough. Dig, start digging now. Start digging now. He just didn't know what he was doing, man. That was really dumb what he did, but... If you're not used to this, yeah, I'm just gonna cruise it out to the end. Yeah, you never, it never gave you a run. Nope. P6 isn't terrible though. Quite sure that's where you finished. P5. Um. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're welcome, bud. Top five, congratulations, dude. Well played. Love you. I can't believe how clean this racing is. You take away the cautions. Kind of like Arca. I like Arca. Yeah, my pit stops are really good. My I hate the car, but I like the racing. I get to work on that. Thanks, win, Hunter. And I'm out of gas. <laughs> Thanks for the spot. Hey, my pleasure. I'm watching somebody sent me a replay. Oh my god! Where do you see this netcode? Are you in my Twitch chat? I'm in, but I'm still on the racetrack. Yeah, I know it. I'm. I, there'll, there'll be a there'll be a link there for you when you get when you finally you know get there. Holy cow! I have seen this bad of netcode before. I racing is such trash. There's this just inexcusable. <laughs> wow! Look at that netcode. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my god. Thickening. All right, let's see this net code. Yeah, you've never seen anything like it. I, I actually I have before. Maybe you haven't. It, it's bad. I was spotting a track race or a plate race. I believe it was here at Talladega. Is it the use the force one? Yep. And. Coming uh it was a mishap that happened in three and four. 
Yeah, two lanes away, man. That is so incredible. That's wild. Oof. So let's take a look. Um, I want to look at iRacing here a minute. David Stryker's in a league race. I want to see when the next seat open is. It should be at the quarter to an hour. Um, that's going to be like a whole hour away, though. Holy cow. See fix. Wow, this C open. one really screwed things up there. 11.45 might be a little too late, so I'll probably switch chapters. What are you talking about? The 31, like, not picking a lane when we approached him. Oh, yeah. That guy named Mike something or other, the older dude, Mike yeah. Burton. Yeah, you can tell by his voice. He's, he's an older guy. He probably doesn't have a lot of iRacing experience. I'm going to look him up right now and see how many officials he's done. It, you can tell it's definitely not malicious. It's it's not a deal where I'm about to get lapped and so I'm going to go screw everybody up. He um, He's new enough that he's only been a member for 10 months, dude, you know? Um, he has a D license with a 542 I rating. So he's not going to know what's going on, you know, but he's entitled, you know, you can play the game still. Who cares about I rating? If, if I mean, you're never going to see him top split a fixed, you know what I'm saying? Ever. He'll probably never make it to a license. So... Well, now I got to decide what to do next. What are you going to do next? Probably, probably a little post race activity with, uh, you know, your chums, the league chums. Let's look at the results here. Yeah, you did really good. Part of the the pack. There, there. The next pack back was several seconds. Just that mishap. Just if it were officials, you probably would have heard a lot more said on the radio. Yeah. You know, because people would have been really pissed. But in a league race, you just got to shake your head and think, you know, my race just got destroyed. I'm going to piss you off. So the pickups, those pickups, those legacy picks up, pickups are at pickups are at Phoenix. That's a great combo. And uh, I believe Carb Cup is at Michigan. It is. That's super tempting. I have a great, great setup. I have a great setup for Michigan, man. But that's fixed. Alas. I think I might... Let me think here. Yeah, I guess I'll do World of Warships. Let me retool to do some World of Warships. Then I'll probably go to bed. I'm tired, you know, after having worked on... I, I worked hard today on stuff. So, the next chapter... What? What? Go ahead. That's a game I've been playing a long time. What, World, World of Warships? Warships? Yeah. Wait, do I have a git commit I have to do here before I close this window? Let me do a git diff. Oh, I see. That's right. Let me do this commit real quick. So let me go back, double check this. I'm just doing a little housekeeping here because I transitioned very quickly from working to playing. I literally only had time to take that shower. <laughs> so start closing apps. Oh, you know what? Before I do all that, David Stryker's here. And my um, mumble there, I didn't even notice that. Hey, David. As an FYI, it's a uh, mic in mumble. I don't know if David can hear me or not. Let me go check my settings there. That setting's correct. That setting's correct. <laughs> Let me see if he's streaming. Maybe I'll get his attention that way. I don't think he is, but 
Do you know what it's like to scroll through the list of streamers' names right now? What's that? Well, everybody that owns a computer is freaking streaming 24 hours at Daytona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to miss a minute. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's go see what he's got going on over there. I don't hear him talking. His microphone's open. You know, I can hear him working his wheel. He's he's racing something. Oh yeah, he is streaming. What has he got going on? Holy cow, it's super loud, whatever it is. Let me turn it down. He is streaming lap 126 out of 150. He is at Bristol, paved Bristol. So, we'll monitor that situation. He probably wants to run a C open. Okie dokie, Icy Gaming. Welcome to the stream club, Billy the Kid, formerly known as. Uh, I gave you a follow, by the way, because I could see from the clip. Gotta have a face cam, though. Nobody will ever raid you unless they see you. And your channel will never grow unless you get raids. That's a sad reality. So David looks like he's in the top, top 10. Pit cycles are happening. He had a good pit stop right there. This is a really hard track to pit at, by the way. Bristol? Yeah. Because you have to know if it's a dual pit lane or single pit lane. You have to go on the right one. You have to go in right. You have to come out right. It's a, It sucks. I don't like Bristol anyways, just because it's, I don't like high bank tracks like this. Daytona, Talladega, Bristol. I don't like high bank tracks. I like a little banking. That's okay, but not like this. I love USA International. Yeah, it's flat as hell. And it's also defunct. It doesn't even exist anymore. It's a site of, it's a condo building site now. Yeah. I was upset when I found out about that. I'm like, man, I wish I can't wait to race here one day. Oh, you mean because of your uh, iRacing experience with it? Yeah. It would have been so cool. That's how I grinded to get to 2,500 I rating. USA International with the ARCA cars. 60 laps at the time. I see. I can tell you exactly what you have to do. Behind me, there's basically a, a green curtain. It's just green. And it hangs from a T-bar. There's a post. When you buy them, they come with a post. I think I paid 40 bucks for it on Amazon. If you go buy the, you know, Elgato one at Best Buy, it's 150 bucks. But, yeah, with that green screen behind me, number one, your camera software has a way of doing the green screen, but people who use the cameras built in green screen, you'll notice on their streams, their body and their steering wheel, everything kind of vi kind of pulsates and flickers. It's really ghostly and freaky looking. It looks like shit, to be honest. Uh, however, OBS, if you're using OBS, Streamlabs might have it, but I know for a fact OBS has it because that's what I'm using. OBS allows you to filter that background out, and the filter is, let me see what it's called, let me look at my webcam, chroma key. You add what they call a chroma key filter, and then you have to adjust it. You'll notice a little tiny bit of flicker along the edge of my seat, it's super, super, really, really subtle. It looks pretty perfect though, actually. So you activate chroma key and adjust the sliders in um, OBS and then you don't have a problem so you also need lighting the right lighting and in my gaming room I have off to my left side they kind of shine on me a little bit so there's a little light on me and it's really harsh to have a pointer right at you man it gets in your eyes but I bought these lights 6300 
kilohertz, that refers to the light frequency. It's really, really bright, kind of a blue. It's a cool light versus a warm light, which would be more towards the red side. <coughs> and those shine on that so that the, uh, on the green curtain behind me, so that the um, uh, chroma key works in OBS. So if you want, if you message me on Discord, what, not, I can't, I didn't order it for my gaming rig, I ordered it for my work computer, but I'll see the little Discord message, I'll go into Amazon, I'll send you the links to exactly the hardware I bought. The lights were probably 30 bucks, it was probably 40 for the green screen, so you're going to have to spend 70 bucks, but it's entirely worth it. Um, I don't have a mess behind me, I have a wall but it's ugly, you know, just a plain old wall. And I don't want to decorate it. I don't want snake lighting. I don't want to do all the weird shit. When I first started streaming, I also played a game. Well, I'm about to play it in a minute here called World of Warships. And World of Warships, you don't really want to block too much of anywhere on the screen with your body, you know, with, with your face cam. Some people still do it, but... I find it distracting, and the people that do it, they do it because they have stuff in the background. Yeah, Warships isn't what it used to be, but, you know, I kind of miss what World of Warships used to be, because it ain't that no more. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do right now. I think Striker? He, do, he has it where he can't hear me talking on voice chat right now, while he's in my voice chat server. But, um, I'm watching his stream right now. In fact, let's take him, put him in the middle monitor here. That 140 to 150, I was going to bother to take the time to make it so you guys could watch it, but... We'll just wait here. And Stranded Deep is interesting to me, but I have too many game choices right now, including War on the Sea that I want to get back into. I thought about that today. What I want to do with War on the Sea is build some recreations of naval battles between the United States and the Empire of Japan in World War II with the actual ships and at the actual place where the battle happened. Because the whole map of the Pacific, the entire Pacific Ocean, all the islands, Philippines, Australia, New Zealand, all that stuff is there. The Marianas, uh, Midway Island, it, it's, it's all there. I can, I can go anywhere on that map to build a battle. And I'd stream it, of course. You know, because if I'm gaming, I'm streaming. That's just what I do. You know, I worked all day today. I rested the earlier part of the day. I had kind of a rough day for sleep. Where did Stryker finish? He doesn't have a, a standings page up with his overlay. He's usually fastidious about his overlays and his stream setup. Get him. Hello, hello. How about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're, um, your settings are weird here. I don't see the standings for the last race you were just in. How'd it turn out? Race Labs? Oh my gosh, my overlay can't come soon enough. Oh, doesn't race control tell you that? 
Here, I'm watching your stream. I'll give you the donkey report. If you're the donkey, I'm going to report you. Oh, not your fault. Yep, yep, that's netcode. So first of all, the guy on the right, he kind of wobbled away from the wall a little bit. That's no big deal, really. But watch the netcode, dude. You could drive a motorcycle between there. Look at that. Wham! Racing incident when that happens. Yep. -er. Striker just had me do a look at a replay of an incident he was in. So, Brandon, what are you up to tonight again? Okay, I'm going to hang up from this call, but I'll message you. You can hang out in my chat if you want. If um, if I do World of Warships, I mean, you can play that if you want, but maybe after World of Warships. Um, I'm not sure about World of Warships right now. It depends on Striker, because he and I did have plans for me to spot him tonight. But there's, have we ever, do you even have DMZ? Okay. What's that, David? Hang on one sec. Well, um, if I were in your position, I wouldn't want a book. That's, that's kind of, you know, he didn't give you much room on that exit, you know? I mean, he went up to the wall and then came back down right into your lane. So technically, the contact is his fault. But you could have avoided him because you were the overtaking car, too. It, it's just racing incident. There's really no blame there. FYI, your mic is kind of working right because I can hear really good in mumble. Yeah, but I wouldn't self-report on that. That's definitely not uh, an oops. That's just contact. It happened. So are you going to run in a half an hour? Okay. Um, I'll spot you if you want, and then I'll move on to World of Warships. So I'm going to spot David Stryker in one half an hour, and then after that, it's going to be World of Warships, and then after that, it's whatever. But you're probably going to be in bed by then, I would think, Brandon. But if you're not, if you know, um, I'll holler at you in chat, or maybe send you a message here on uh, Discord. But for right now, I am going to back out of this voice chat channel and uh, go do other things, you know. All right, man. Good race, man. We'll see you, Brandon. Bye-bye. So Brandon might be back on um, chat with me a little later if we decide to play something that he can also play. Maybe Hell at Loose. I know he plays that. He likes that. But it's Friday night. It's my gaming night. I'm one hour into a four-hour stream. Actually, probably six. Four is my minimum. Oh, you're going to run the fix first? I thought you... I thought you... The, well, because there's the open at 45, um, it depends, again, how late you want to be up and if you want to run fixed or open races. Because I thought you could go do some testing and we can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
be open. He's talking to his stream about how he enjoys Bristol. <laughs> I sent you a, a new check your um, um, messages in Discord, by the way. Wow. Right. 